you know, Jake is nine and a half and um, he's a, an amazing child. I'm so grateful to, to have them both. But Jake is, you can see how I talk about him. I just love him so much. <laughs> um, he is incredible. You know, he, he will say, um, Mom, I, I love Brooke the most. Is that okay? And I'll say, of course it is, you know. Um, and he he's an old soul. So, you know, he's nine, but he's more mature than nine. I'm, I'm honest with him about what's going on. We've, we, I, I didn't know how to tell Jake about the diagnosis. I, that was, again, it's like another personal moment, not even so much a choice, but it's, you know, it's just a personal moment that you have, you know, with your other kids and I didn't know what to do. And so I asked a lot of different parents about, you know, how they handled it and what, what they said and, um, took all that in and then um, thought about it, you know, and then and then made the decision um, when I felt the time was right that that you know I was going to tell Jake. So I I you know took him out for the day, and just the two of us, which was something that we not only to this day, but from when Brooke started to regress, our one on one time really kind of stopped and our interactions with each other were just different, you know, because Brooke needs so much constant care that I can't really focus on Jake the way that, you know, I, I would have liked to or the way that I used to. So it was just him and I and we, we went to the beach and um, we walked the boardwalk and we shopped and we played in the arcade and we did we had such a great day that at the end of the day the whole point of the day was for me to tell him but we had such a great day that I totally contemplated not telling him because I said I'm now going to ruin this great day I mean it's going to be like the worst day now but I said I've got to tell him I committed myself to telling him he needed to know and so we just we went down to the to the boardwalk and we walked down a flight of stairs where the ocean was and it was just him and me and um, I can't even remember like exactly what I said to him, but I was crying so hard. I was trying not to cry. And, um, Jake put his little arm around my back and was just like rubbing my lower back. And, and I, I told him, I said, you know, Jake, she's sick and she's, you know, not going to live a long life. And, he said, I'm trying not to cry, mom. And I said, it's okay, Jake, you can cry, you know. Um, and the the apple doesn't fall far from the tree because we get in the car and 10 minutes later, Jake's on his iPod or his ex or his game machine or whatever he had. And he's talking to me about something totally unrelated to what I just told him, you know. Um, and that's how a child's mind works, you know. It was, it was perfect. It couldn't have worked out any better.